It has sort of a pee, pee taste to it. Not urine. Um, snow, snow pee taste. Not mm -hmm. pee and snow. Um, yeah, it's I think right. It's sort of a little, little pee-like. Pee flavored. All right, that, that's still coming out wrong. Old pee came out? Hello, Rachel. Hello. Hello, re audience, watchers, people of YouTube. Um, oh, one of you. Welcome back to another episode of Couples Gaming with me and my my couple, Rachel. A couple, okay. <laughs> well, together we become a couple. Anyway, today we uh, wanted to try some crazy exotic foods, um, specifically. To honor Rachel's heritage, <laughs> uh, we're gonna try some Filipino snacks. Yeah, we have a long line of prepared snacks. foods. <gasps> so we were we were at uh, G Mart. Yeah. And we went in and bought some. She saw some cool stuff, and I thought, hey, we should eat some of that on the camera. So People we're sitting on the that. camera right now. People are doing that these days. And I, I mean, for me, I haven't had any of this stuff. And you haven't had all of it either. Yeah, I've only had like two of these. So, you're, so. Well, your family is from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, you were born here. Yep. But your parents were born in the Philippines and they mm -hmm. immigrated. So. 1980. So, you're, what is that called? First generation? Yeah, American? first generation American. So you still go back to the Philippines? You still have family in the Philippines? Mm -hmm. Still planning to escape to the Philippines? Yeah. <laughs> we, we, you still, your family has like a place there too. Right? Yeah, they bought a condo like three years ago. So yeah. you've been more. It's than... actually in the condo, like where near where um, Imelda Marcos lives. So. Who's that? She's like the uh, well, she's a I think she's in Congress now, but she was married to Ferdinand Marcos, who was like the president and like dictator of the Philippines <laughs> during martial law. Right. She's well known for having like lots of shoes, so. Huh? Okay, but and for being detached from reality. But these are all snacks made <clears throat> in your ancestral homeland. Those snacks are my people. The snack plate. What you're most proud of are these. Mm-hmm. There's Filipino snacks. work ethic, and then there's Filipino processed food. So, <laughs> so. And there's a lot of really crazy flavors here that I've mm -hmm. never heard of. For instance, this is this is a a brand called what is it? Boy. Say it. Say it as you would. That's Boy Bawang. That's wrong. <laughs> Boy Bawang. There was too much that? emphasis on the wang. It's actually yeah. Boy Bawang. I tend Which to means that. actually it means like garlic boy. So, garlic boy. But you can okay. see him. You can see him. Oh, yeah, he's, he's on both of these. He's a little he's like garlic angry. He's got very strong eyebrows. You got two of these things. This, this flavor, I have, I have no idea what this Adobo flavor. Yeah, that's like the. I have no idea what that means. It's like a way of cooking dishes. Adobo flavor. Yeah. This one sounds more appealing to me from Boy Bawang. 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 <laughs> uh, golden Sweet Cornic? Yeah. Golden Sweet Cornic. So they're basically just like the fried. Corn that sounds good. It kind of sounds like Ux makes a thing like that. that we yeah. That yeah, good. yeah. Corn nuts. That's what they call them. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is Peely, and he is clearly a Luigi knockoff. Um, <laughs> if you see him, Luigi is selling little sizzling barbecue flavored snacks in the Philippines now. Apparently. Yeah. They're like intellectual uh, property in Asia like, isn't really that much of a thing. I don't care. Yeah. Um, it's I don't for, really like barbecue chips. So. It's an all-time quality snack for watching TV, for parties, and for outings. Hmm. So. Well, this is making TV, so that's similar. Yeah. Well, the funny thing about this is uh, it says um, display and store in a cool, dry place, which is like nowhere in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> and then, let's so we got, this one sounds weird to me, too. Well, first of all, it's Ni, Ni Mang Wan. Ni Mang Wan brand. Or, uh, chi Chicharon? Chicharon. Chicharon. Ni Mangon. Yeah, but okay, so the and thing then about the, But the flavor is Sukang Pomong. It's like Pombong? with um, Sukang yeah, uh, yeah. Baombong. I don't really know what Baombong means. It's like a vinegar flavor. 
Oh, yeah, this is like yeah. a vinegar. It looks kind of like a salt and vinegar picture on there. So yeah, but it's like um, it's actually like um, what's it called? Um, so these are supposed to be chicharron is like pork rinds, um, but these yeah. are like made with basically like peas. So yeah, it's like they're not. It's a vegetarian. And then the last, uh, there's also this pea, snow pea crisps. They have those in America. Oh, these are slightly different. I have never seen them. Pretty good, so. Say uh, original. And then this one I'm really looking forward to actually. <laughs> Thin and crispy banana chips that are honey dipped. Mm -hmm. That just sounds amazing to me. And hopefully it tastes just as amazing. Nice. Let's oh yeah, and then there's a drink. We got a drink too. So we went with snack foods this time. Well, hopefully in the future, if you guys like these videos, first of all, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Um, but in the future maybe we'll try some other different kinds of Filipino food and Asian food. Mm -hmm. um, this is just sort of snacks. And so we got a drink to go along with it. Calamansi. Calamansi. <laughs> Philippine lemon. They're like this big. Like this we got crazy yeah. looking fruit. So it's a juice of this fruit. It's like a, oh. it's like a alien fruit. Yeah, you forgot the. Well, we're not going to eat this guy today. But uh, this is Rachel's little pencil sharpener with googly eyes. Yeah. This is from when I was in grad school. And I basically spent all my time studying in my office with like which is like basically a closet and a desk and a bookshelf. And, and that I, little Google it was kind of like, um, he was kind of like Wilson. He's like my Wilson, but that's <laughs> cool. Like, yeah. um, all right, so let's try one. I'm probably not going to like it. It's just peas. No, it's just like corn. There's a, imagine yeah. like Cheetos without any cheese. Tosca is tied up over there because she oh. would otherwise probably try to eat all of this food. Yeah. Sorry, oh, Tosca. Oh, uh, none for you today. Sort of like a... See, here's the funny thing about it. So, like in Asia, this is like a family pack. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. it's it's like, I feel like one person. <laughs> it tastes like, you know, loose peas. Mm -hmm. It should taste it's like kind soup. of a bizarre. It's not bad. It's a little bland. It tastes sort of like peas. Mm. I mean, I don't, I don't really know why this is a snack. <laughs> I, I wouldn't eat a lot of this. Oh, I could eat a, I could eat a whole family pack for that. I have. Uh, uh, I eat a whole yeah. family pack for anything. It's not bad, so that's good. <laughs> All right. Well, on to the next thing. That's pretty, pretty normal. So it sort of tastes like peas. It's sort of like um, like Cheetos, like um, the softer Cheetos but <laughs> flavored of peas. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try the adobo. Boy boing. <laughs> Boy boing, get in my mouth. Snack my people. Oh, I'm sorry. My ignorant. Oh, it's a little. Mm, they're so like good. Little, they're this so is like, like my favorite. Nuts. I think boy boing is like probably my favorite Filipino snack, and it's like. like you know, I think that's my favorite flavor. A little uh, what, beer nuts, I guess you. Yeah, corn nuts, beer nuts. Little tiny things. Let's see. Let's see what they taste like. Mm. I don't really smell much, so. Um. Oh! Mm. That actually really good. I love these. Oh, the garlic ones are better, actually. That's pretty Make delicious. Up. See, I would definitely eat this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, good job, Philippines. Mm hmm. I'm gonna eat a bit of these. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Yeah, I like those. This is my favorite. Mmm. Why don't we should just end the video here? I'm just gonna eat the rest of these. Adobo flavor is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. What would you describe that? It's like, I don't. It's kind of weird because like, so like adobo is it's good. Like, it's not very you, overpowering or anything. Well, when you cook something with adobo, you use soy sauce and vinegar and like a bay leaf and pepper. Those are like the main things. You know, you know so. what I'm kind of getting from it. Um, you ever had the, where they like the barbecue Fritos? Like oh the yeah, twists? yeah. It's kind of like that, like a milder corn. form of that. Yeah, it's like the corn. It's definitely corn. something you could snack on for a long time. It's definitely, mm -hmm. like it's not overpowering. You could eat a lot of these for sure. Oh, oh yeah. no, no, no. These are our I love those things. I want to try some of the juice. You pour it into a glass here. <clears throat> you rolled that trusty Notre Dame glass. Rachel has a master's from Notre Dame, by the way. That's where I met this guy. Mm -hmm. Right here. That got her a master's right there. <laughs> um, oh, they're watching. So what is what is this again? It's like a weird Filipino fruit. It's just like a Filipino citrus fruit. It really looks like small, it kind of looks like someone photoshopped like a lemon. 
or a line. Yeah, but no, basically, but it's real. It's yeah, real it's not from the internet. It's not right. internet myth. That's right. Yeah. It's the best citrus fruit in the world. I don't care what anyone says. It is good. I like it. It's good with savory stuff. I actually prefer it as like a garnish. It's not bad. It's sort of like a very mild citrus. Mm -hmm. like another thing that you could sort of go to town on for a long time without getting overwhelmed. It's like a weird way of talking about a drink. <clears throat> I guess so, but uh, it's you know it's mild, it's citrusy, but it's not too sour and not too sweet. Oh, actually, this is really mild compared to like real calamansi juice that like my mom or someone would make. So it's usually like a little bit more tart. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, You'd like it really tart. Like, you pick it. Here, try this one. So Boy blind. So we can go from like, um, so we can go from. Go from savory to sweet, I guess. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm going to use it here. <laughs> Don't shut on me knife. Yeah. That's such a cool knife, too. Oh, With a cool knife. Don't, so don't try on We got my gun show. It's like $5. Yeah, it's a piece of crap. But it's cool. It flips out. It's like from China and it has like Don't Tread on Me and like an NRA logo on it. I mean, it just has the guide supply logo. Um, don't Tread on Me. Anyway. Oh, weird. Mm. What's it like? Let me try. That's just like the garlic one. That's kind of odd. But it's yeah. supposed to be sweet. It's very garlic food. Mm. All right. Well, let me see. <coughs> Maybe Whoa. they. That was weird. Yeah, I think they changed it out because it's like slightly sweet but slightly garlicky. It's not. It's not bad. It's like very sweet. unique. It is sort of like a sweet garlic, if that's a thing. Yeah, like a mellow kind of roasted garlic kind of flavor. Hmm. Of everything I've tried so far, this is the most, most unique. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Well, I don't know what to think of it. It's not bad. I like adobo. Adobo and garlic. Yeah, the adobo. I like the adobo better, but this is actually pretty good. It's sort of like um, sweet onion, like oh, yeah, so, so. if you're thinking of things that wouldn't really go together, like garlic and sweetness and not necessarily something. Well, I mean, if you like roast garlic, you get some soup. It makes it, the sugar is like caramelized. So. Okay. Very interesting, boy boy. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. He's, he's cool. abused as a he's child. Cool That's why he's so strong. So. Mm. Mm. Garlic boy. Wow. So I'm going to have more of the mild citrus thing. Yeah. <laughs> My parents actually grow that in their house. I think they snuck some, like, they snuck, really? like, this, the seeds over. It's like an invasive Oh, species. yeah, like, every Filipino has had. <laughs> every Filipino has, like, calamon seed growing in their house, and I think they all got it illegally, so. It's not bad. It's very mild yeah. citrus. It's nice. All you do is, like, when you get to customs in the Philippines, you just let the guy tell you and find it. There you go. Tips to break international law here on this week's episode. All right, Pee Wee, the Luigi knockoff, selling his barbecue. That doesn't sound appealing to me. I don't really like barbecue chips generally. Really? I don't yeah. Like no, I don't like barbecue. I like barbecue. I don't like barbecue. Oh, that's a weird looking. I know it doesn't look. Like it doesn't look, look anything like the bag. Yeah, look at the bag. It looks like they. It looks like they forgot to put the seasoning on or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, so the bags is all. They're all brown and seasoned up, but. Hmm. I feel like they did. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like any flavor. And then it's like completely. Yeah, right. like it doesn't really taste like anything. Let's see. I mean, it doesn't sound appealing. Like, it's, they've got kebabs on the front. Right? Yeah. Kebab <laughs> snack. I don't know. Um, yeah, it doesn't really taste like much of anything. Yeah, I feel like they just forgot to put. They forgot to marinate these chips in the barbecue sauce. Kind of not bad. I kind of thought I would hate it, but it's so mild that there's a, a lot of this is very mild. They kind of remind me of like shrimp chips, like whatever. They must use like the same. The consistency is like kicks, kick cereal. Yeah, I was thinking like that's the like consistency cereal. of it. Mm -hmm. But with that, so it's a lot like kicks because like regular kicks have no real flavor to them. And so that's, that's so kind weird. of what this is. I feel like if it had more spices, it might have been really good. It was like a super slightly seasoned. Well, it should make sense. Luigi is the mascot, so you would assume it would be very... Is this name Pooigi? Pooigi? Pooigi. Do you think that's what his name is? Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. But it makes sense, though. It's very bland. It's 
snack that has no, no real like defining feature. It probably has a brother snack that's much, much better. Yeah, Pario. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm. All right, well, that was, I'm going back to the Adobo. Probably. Yeah, Open that stuff. I mean, it's, it's like our very intriguing. The Adobo is the best thing so far. Totally intriguing. You see these things or buy them and eat them. They're mm, delicious. So good. I like that they call them ah. corn mix. It's like a, oh. like a Soviet thing. Yes. A Russian thing. Corn mix. Alright, so these are these are the one. Mm. Nang one. And I have no idea. There's some sort of weird flavor I've never heard of. They're very. I like they're vinegary. Oh. I like that. Wow. That looks really good. Yeah. Good job, Nang Wang. So it does come out to be more like a salt and vinegar. Yeah. Oh, with like a more of a like a stir fry aftertaste to it. Just trying to find a non offensive way to say Asian aftertaste. MSG? I don't know, like um, like tortilla, like um, Tor like you egg roll. tortilla, not tortilla, oh. <laughs> like an egg roll, um, yeah, no, type right. of aftertaste, like mm -hmm. the the breading from an egg roll, mm -hmm. that sort of the aftertaste tastes like. So it's actually really good. Mm. I like it. Mmm. Yeah. This is really good. It's very interesting. It starts off exactly like salt and vinegar Pringles. Oh, I can see that. And then it ends like sort of like an egg roll. Hmm. So it's good. It's yeah, really I like good. those. Wow. Yeah. They don't taste like chicharron though. That's the funny part, but they're mm. really good. It tastes like salt and vinegar Pringles. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never heard of this brand, Jack and Jill. I've only heard of like, I don't know, Colby I've heard of, and Boy Balon. Well, it's what about good. Fake Luigi? I've never heard of Fake Luigi. Hmm. Yeah, it's like Hunter Band or something. I guess it's technically like a nutrient snack. Yeah, I don't heard of it. I highly doubt that's a nutritious thing, though. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, that feels good. Well, I thought we would save these for last because you like bananas, so you probably like some of those. Oh, yeah, there it is. Very good. What? Okay, it's open. Oh, yeah. I'll show you that. I'm very good. Yeah. The Philippines could work on their bag and make technology work. Yeah, okay. Life is hard. It's just, ugh, it doesn't, well, okay, we'll just see from the side. Okay. So these are the um, banana chips that are honey dipped. Mm -hmm. and so I don't see how they could possibly go wrong with this. And they're delicious, of course. I'm not surprised at all. They're very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, well, they're mostly exactly like banana, like dried banana chips that you get here. Mm -hmm. But they do have a little more of a honey flavor to them, so mm -hmm. they're actually better. Mm -hmm. And I'm eating more, or I'm drinking more of this. Yeah, I like these. Okay. Man. Hmm. Well, I feel like we didn't, none of this was bad. I was expecting to get something crazy. From all of these. Mm. None of them were bad at all. No, no, Some I'm of them are very bland. Yeah. Most of them are delicious. I'm glad that you like Boy Fong Wong. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Boy Fong is really good. This is Frankie's favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm a, another Filipino fan. Yep. Boy is happy. Who's also first generation, right? Who's half, but yeah. What would you say your favorite one was? Mm. Of the new. Uh, okay. The new ones, I would say, like this. But overall, I mean, boy, that one still. I actually think it was these. Yeah, those were really good. Well, or these. I mean, this this was the best sweet thing, obviously. Well, the garlic was kind of sweet. Yeah, it wasn't mm -hmm. that sweet. It was, it was sort of sweet, but it was. So that's, that's the best sweet, and this is definitely the best, like, savory, salty thing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So buy, buy these, the adobo flavored boy boing, they're like beer nuts with a, what is the type of, like barbecue-y sort mm -hmm. of flavor, even. but not, not, not overpowering, very, very, very well done. 
Uh, you know, I mean, like a lot of American snacks are very flavorful, but they get but overpowering face, really, yeah. really fast. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's one big difference between like American snack food and Filipino snack. Yeah, like these, like the ones that we like, are basically like the best snacks you'd have in the beer. You could totally eat this whole bag without getting overpowered by the flavor, mm -hmm. even though it's there and it's good. Okay. But it's the same with the citrus. Like, it's not, it's not too sour like lemon or or lime, but it's not. It's it not should super be more sour either. though. Filipinos have like a really like sour sour palate. It's, it's not like super sweet like a clementine yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So that's sort of, kind of that's what I would take out of all this. It's like very, it's good, and it's mild. Yeah, that's not like Filipino food, but okay, yeah. The snacks are definitely like that though. These I would definitely definitely get those and try them. Yeah, look for like, the especially hat. if you like if yeah the little hat. Look for the rice patty hat. Look for the Asian stereotype. If you like salt and uh, vinegar Pringles, definitely get these. But they're crunchier. That's why I like them. Yeah, they're not. A, they're a little bit like yeah. softer. That's what chicharron is supposed to be, because it's like fried pork skin, it's supposed to be like really crunchy, so. It's got a really, really great consistency to it. Mm -hmm. Probably a little bit better than Pringles, as far as consistency. And it has like a nice, like I said, like egg roll wrapping sort of out flavor. Yeah. Don't get these. They're really bland. Yeah. Just like their mascot, Fake Luigi. If you like peas, I don't know. I, I wouldn't get them. They're, they're, they taste like peas. These things were interesting. You should try them, I guess. And then this stuff is delicious, um, but again, very mild, not too slow, not too sweet, not too sour. So try that too. What is it called? Calamansi. All right, and that's all we got for this episode. Plus, could just lick your Xbox. <laughs> what? She's so hungry. She's eating my video game systems. The next episode of, of Couples Gaming is going to be a Plants vs Zombies episode. We're going to try to get to level twenty on. Um, the, uh, it's basically like Garden Ops. Tosk is just destroying the room. <laughs> She's angry she can't have the Filipino snacks. Sorry, bear. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to look for that soon. Uh, we're going to have more Valiant Hearts soon as well. Make sure you, uh, you subscribe. I'll put a little button on the video area. And you just I'll put it like right on in it. the middle of us. I'll put it somewhere. Wherever. No. Not oh, there. Sorry, just hit you in the face. Punch me in the face. Sad. Watch Couple Abuse Therapy. This will be the episode after Plants Are Done. You're not supposed to tell me. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. You share. Send us gifts and money. And snacks. If you've ever had any of this stuff, what is your favorite? Um, what do you think we should try for the next sort of food episode? Because I think we're going to do this couple, definitely do it again. We'll do some hala hala next time. <clears throat> Hala Hala, she's been saying she's going to make some for me and hasn't in like three years, years. <laughs> known each other. So. Leave your suggestions and um, and what you what's your favorite like Filipino snack, if you have one. Mm -hmm. And if you go out and try any of these, let us know what you think of them. Uh, let us know if, you, if we were at all accurate in our descriptions and if they're as good as we say they are. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Everything. Just Bye. <laughs>